People see this and they want to contribute and be a part of making things work and look good. This could be a good technique to use at your local skate park. Lucas and Sean painted the park where there are numerous locals that asked if they could help or even donate some money to the cause. Recently, my friend's been fixing up the skate park and doing so much like repairing the coping, painting, just like really is a skate park here. I'm so curious why he feels the need to like constantly contribute to the skate park. How do you get your other local skaters to be involved with like maintaining the skate park and being a skate park hero? So we're here in Lake Elsinore at the McVicker skate park. We're gonna meet up the homies and dive into the topic of a skate park hero. <laughs> This reminds me of like a shot class chair. It sure does. Right? Like look at how sick this dude is, right? Yeah. Oh, so I damn. took it for my garage, just like fuck it, right? Dude, I flipped this over. Look at this thing. 1980. Whoa. So you brought the chair so you can watch everyone fix the park, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you just want to watch people fix it. I you don't watch, you don't you know do what? that. I'm just gonna <laughs> dude, that's why I brought this dolly. I got the okay. box all boxed up. Is Look it at paint Sean all ready to paint, dude. With yeah. his pants. I got the paint pants on. That's why I wore shit pants, too. Dude, like, oh, for man. real. You know how many times I wore my nice pants to fucking to, like, paint? Work. You don't have to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, tip one. Don't wear your nice clothes when you're fixing the skate park. <laughs> Every time I use Bondo, I add way too much hardener and it just dries way too quick. Yeah, yeah. And then and then I even know I'm adding too much hardener and I keep doing it. I keep doing it. It's so hard to not though. You're like, oh, it needs the hardener to dry. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it does not. It does not. Everyone always reminds me too, like way too much hardener, especially in California where like the weather is already kind of warm. So I think where it's colder, you need more hardener. That's the one thing that I like about that, uh, that epoxy. guys bring the supplies and then the homies jump in. That's what's up. That's bad. Crack. Dude, you can see I patched that. This is good sound. The other side. Oh, see that? Yeah. These guys are basically taping everything up so that they can paint it. Get that fresh layer of paint. It's gonna grind, slide better, you know kind of give it that surface sort of uh, enamel layer. It's sort of like a protective layer. That's what the paint really provides. It's also an aesthetic of this park, yellow paint. So yeah, taping it all up. Got Lucas, the ski park McVicker warrior, Sean Ross, McVicker warrior over there. So once it's all taped up, the goal is to get some paint brushes out, some, some paint rollers and paint everything up. Lucas is also getting everyone like in the ski park involved, which is really rad. I think like, when you come out and bring the materials and bring the supplies, other people feel inclined to help if they happen to be there. So yeah, he showed up with a bunch of supplies, makes it easier, he has like five or six different things of tape. So like someone just wants to help and like mass things off the tape, they can help in that way. So it's kind of cool to get like people involved by just bringing the supplies. So next step is just to paint everything up. And then I think what he's gonna do is start fixing some coping. <laughs> parks they uh, do a lot of like uh like if it's noping yeah they do like a bead of like green or yeah. red 
just so it helps it slide and it's actually probably so you can see it maybe a little bit better oh that's too like the top of the yeah that's a good thing i didn't even think about sometimes hard to see so too, that's a good point bright yeah unfortunately my board knocked my camera over for the second time and my audio stopped working after taping everything up it's time to use the yellow zone marking paint it's always smart to use gloves to avoid getting your hands covered in paint cutting a piece of cardboard will avoid getting paint onto the skate park where we don't want it now it's just a matter of painting between the lines this paint dries fairly quick in the sun and you can do two coats fairly fast because this park is yellow we decided to go with yellow paint to keep things consistent that way if park and rex or someone from the city shows up it wouldn't look any different just better than it did before lucas and sean painted the park where there are numerous locals that asked if they could help or even donate some money to the cause lucas is extremely nice and truly enjoys doing it he doesn't expect any money most of the time he doesn't even accept any money people see this and they want to contribute and be a part of making things work and look good this could be a good technique to use at your local skate park the best feeling right there Start with the initial investment of fixing the park, and you might be surprised who comes and contributes. So we spent quite a lot of time painting up all the different obstacles at the McVicker Skate Park. We never really got a chance to get into how to repair pole coping. So now we're at my buddy's backyard farm where he has some pole coping on his wood ramp. It tends to deteriorate in the between each pole block. So in between there's like the little grout. And you could use liquid nails. There's a lot of different stuff you can use. I've used Silka anchoring adhesive, which was really good. But today we're actually gonna be using the Set XP for a lot of really good things about this. And then we're just gonna be using some blue tape. So right now I'm gonna kind of uh, clean everything up, tape it off similar to when we taped off the paint, essentially just taping off where we wanna hit it. And then I'm gonna go into just how you repair pole coping, how you kind of get those in between the pole coping's nice and smooth. That's the goal today. I right, pretty much got everything all taped up, all the edges that we're gonna hit. One, two, three, four, five, for five different blocks in between. I screwed off the top of our adhesive. Now the only thing that we really need is our caulking gun. We got a little putty stick. Make sure, make sure that everything gets into the right area. A little putty stick will be helpful. Now I just gotta put this bad boy on here getting in the caulking gun, and then drop everything into place. There we go. The idea is when you're pushing this out, it's gonna mix in this tube. So you're not too worried about it coming out right away. how you fix the grout in between the pole coping. If you can, wait 24 hours. So I'm not gonna pull this tape up, I'm actually gonna leave it. If I were here for like another four hours, I'd probably pull the tape up like in, a, in an hour or two, but I'm gonna take off, come back in 24 hours and lift it up. That's a hard thing. Like if you're at a skate park where nobody wants to stop skating for 24 hours, it can be hard. Hopefully you can just tell them like, hey, we're trying to fix the pole coping, we're trying to fix up the park and they'll just stay off. Normally if you see like tape on pole coping like you do back here, typically people know like not to hit it and they're excited to have better pole coping. I also hit it in some areas that didn't have tape. I kind of just freestyled it because we had some more uh, adhesive left essentially and there's, I actually only use like half the bottle and all this so I think you can do a lot more I thought uh, I was running out but there's a lot more left in there like half the bottle is left so yeah that's pretty much how you fix up the pool coping there's a lot of different ways to go about it if you can wait 24 hours otherwise it's just gonna break sooner than you have to end up fixing it sooner than you would like to so Hope you guys appreciate this video on how to fix up skate parks. Shout out to the skate park heroes. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed it. Join the channel members if you'd like to see more exclusive content. Mash. Mm -hmm.